ready? <coughs> no. Yeah. Okay. So that is for the Russian reporter. And the first question will be, when you got this lot of correspondence and look through it, what was the most interesting thing for you that you noticed? And does it have any value for society? Or it's mainly bureaucratic correspondence? In, in looking through this vast archive of material, the first thing that I see is that it would take many years to actually get through it. In fact, reading one um, book length worth of material uh, per day, it would take over seven years to read this material. So no one has yet uh, really explored it. We've only just scratched the surface of it. But in, in that review, we see that the um, Hillary Clinton has tasked the uh, American diplomatic corps to act as spies uh, in the United Nations. Normally this is a job that is reserved for uh, the CIA or the National Security Agency, uh, people operating under diplomatic cover in some way, but who are not diplomats themselves. But uh, Hillary Clinton has decided to uh, breach that uh, covenant and turn diplomats uh, and associated officers uh, into spies. According to these documents, what is the most noticeable characteristic of American diplomacy? The most notable for me is not any one instance, rather it is the, the vast collection of diplomatic efforts uh, that are designed to push uh, the interests of big companies uh, and big government departments in the United States around the world. And it is a, a relentless effort uh, in many countries. In particular, small countries show the best kind of reportage. In the bigger uh, embassies, such as embassies uh, in Moscow or London in Paris, the ambassadors tend to be quite careful in what they write. But in the smaller embassies, things tend to be more unvarnished. And we see there, uh, the local political population or local business leaders trying very hard to curry, curry favour uh, with the United States presence. Did you find any compromising facts about Russia? Or maybe it's just the reputation of American foreign policy will suffer losses because of this publication? Well, there are a number of uh, reports in there of people going into American embassies and, and talking about their, their colleagues. And sometimes that is uh, people speaking about corrupt Russian businessmen um, or allegations of corruption by uh, Russian generals. And of course the view of the American ambassadors themselves about what the state uh, of Russian affairs is. But generally I see that it's mainly the US um, presence and how it operates and also um, the actions of the uh, puppet states that it has, or the American client states, these states that are uh, supported and propped up uh, by the United States, uh, that often engage in ter terrible human rights abuses uh, or covert pushes uh, towards war, uh, or money laundering or other forms of corruption. And these are often known about by US embassies working in those countries uh, but that knowledge is concealed. So I, I think over the long term, it is that latter category that's really going to uh, start drawing attention. Thank you very much.